a lot of moms have reached out that are dealing with exactly the same thing that you're dealing with. One of the biggest questions that I've received on my Instagram from moms are how do I lose my belly fat? A lot of them will be like, oh, I have lost all the weight, you know, I look okay, you know, everything is fine, but my belly, my pouch doesn't seem to go away. And there can be a couple of reasons why. In this video, I'm going to tell you how I lost my own uh, belly fat. I had this issue as well. Um, it took me some time to lose all my pregnancy weight, you know, I got down to the size that I used to be, even though I wanted to stay a bit above that, just because my husband likes that. Um, yes, but my belly, my belly was there, it wouldn't go away, it was so frustrating. Um, I'm going to explain to you different things that I did uh, to lose this, but first of all, I want to talk about the overall body weight. If you have already a bigger in size, just understand that it's very normal to have a tummy as well. I know that social media shows a beautiful body where there is no belly and the whole body is like curvy and big. Um, I would say like maybe two, three or five percent of people have that kind of body and a lot of them they will go to surgeries and lipo and things like that to try to have that look but if you're a normal human being that maybe you don't want to go that route then don't worry this is absolutely normal a lot of moms have this but if you really want to work on that the first thing is to lose weight i have a couple of videos on how to do this already but to briefly touch on it is eating healthy doing some exercises um cutting down on fat in your food because we know fat has a nine nine calories per gram and carbohydrates and carbs have four uh, calories per gram so that's like double so if you cut that down that is definitely going to help you to lose um weight in general the second tip and the second way i was able to lose the weight this is like the big one check if you have diastasis recti so diastasis recti is basically like a separation of the admin abdominal wall i'm gonna briefly show you my belly right now one second so this is my belly okay um breakfast done um if you squeeze in yeah oh normal um but the that's pressure is basically like a separation here which i have so it's basically like um when after you uh, you have a baby or during your pregnancy yeah. the, the belly expands to accommodate the baby and then there is a linear out bar in the middle of your tummy that is kind of it's, it's not muscle it's just basically a glue that holds your two abs together okay so when this is separated to accommodate your baby after that most of the time it doesn't really come back together to the shape it was before this basically needs a lot of help and a lot of mindfulness to get it back on track it's really really important that we try to encourage that glue that to come back together and this will automatically help your tummy to come back to the same shape it had before and you will stop seeing that kind of um, pouch you know a lot of that is going to disappear once that is sorted out this was one of the things that was holding me back i have lost all the weight i didn't want to lose any more weight but the tummy was still there so once i figured this out and i actually figured this out with the help of one of my followers on instagram who reached out to me be like um this exercise you're doing i can see you have this is texas right tie because basically i had a pouch coming out from my tummy you know whenever i do a crunch you can see like a lump <laughs> on my tummy so when she reached out i researched them like wow okay um so once i started working on that i took like two weeks straight no abs exercise no main exercise nothing major i was just focusing on doing this particular exercises help the tummy to come back together nothing that will make a poof on your tummy everything that will bring your tummy in or in like together or in hope you get what i'm saying within two weeks within two weeks 
the results were clear i'm gonna be showing you pictures honestly it was incredible um so definitely if you haven't checked already have a look see whether you have uh this is texas writer i will put a link below and here if possible of um different ways to check one if you have this is better and a way to um and exercises you can do to encourage you to come together to close those gap in your tummy and also exercises to avoid if you have this is this rectile this is so so important because no matter how much exercise you do on your tummy no matter how much crunches if you have this is this rectile the tummy is not going anywhere in fact it's going to make it worse it's going to make it was like it's better you're not doing any exercises on your tummy than you're doing exercises that is going to make your diastasis sexus rectal worse which means bigger tummy basically but that is the number two thing that really really literally helped me to lose that tummy mommy pouch that i had for the longest time the next thing i could suggest for you is work on your bloating so a lot of us have bloating and uh, when you eat a certain kind of food it can lead to bloating it could be kind of maybe if you're allergic to some food uh, specifically a lot of the time uh, lactose intolerance uh, which is intolerant to a specific protein that is in milk and uh, those kind of products to find this out you have to speak to your a specialist about it um, but for me personally I, I was dealing with a lot of bloating issues as well so what I did was I, I used some spank sometimes kind of to compress it but I changed my diet as well to plant-based this makes me so happy I'll be talking about that a lot more in this uh, channel I have a couple of videos you know my blogs shows some of the food that I'm eating super simple yummy delicious how the foods uh, that does not contain any animal protein or animal in general this has helped me greatly when it comes to my bloating and how i feel in general if you have a bloating issue this could be the reason why you have big tummy you never know and then another thing i would say is also exercising exercise is important overall but also just walking uh, those muscles that is in your tummy if you work out a muscle it's more able to contract and function normal than if you're not if you're not using a muscle it kind of relaxes it just it just doesn't do anything <laughs> um, but if you work out that muscle it's more efficient it's able to contract when it's needed it's able to hold things you know together often so definitely exercising will help your tummy to go in and the right exercises if you're lucky and you don't have the cystesis recti just enjoy 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 everything but if you have the cystesis recti it's really really important that you know the right exercises to do so that you don't make the issue was and you are not frustrated after every workout that you do and the last thing i'm going to say is to be kind to yourself be very very kind to yourself i know social media is showing us all these beautiful beautiful part of people's life all these fake parts as well you know a lot of the time it's easy to fake social media very very easy it's just i'm very mindful of that and i do not want to be part of that that i love to show you know even the beautiful side and the not so beautiful side i think all of them are fine okay <laughs> this is this is what makes us who we are and there is absolutely nothing wrong with it but i'm just saying just be very very mindful that what you see in social media very much often than not they are not the reality of a lot of people and a lot of people that look like you which is almost 90 percent of of women with children they feel self-conscious just just like you do and a lot of the time they might not really share this part of their life so i am here to tell you a lot of moms have reached out they are dealing with exactly the same thing that you're dealing with so you are not alone don't feel bad about it get some spanks if that will make you feel better you know nice lingerie if that will help you feel better just do anything your hair your nails do anything that will make you feel better but never feel bad about the body that have helped you to birth your babies to have a beautiful family you know it was just you and your husband that was it 
two okay you have to go through a process to get number three to get number four maybe five so now you're a whole family and it's because of the power that god has given you within your body so your body deserves to be celebrated and you deserve to be kind to it because it has done such a big work and it has never let you down so yes let me look anything else i want to say here yes i am currently working on a program that is just focused on losing the belly fat so i'm working specifically if you have the cystic red tie make sure you check out my video on how to check if you have this and if you do stay tuned subscribe like this video give me a comment if you're interested in this program um, i'm going to create like a whole month of exercises follow along exercises that you're going to do with me for one month that is bound to get your tummy back together and back in shape i am so excited for this i hope this was useful and helpful to you and subscribe like let me know what you think about this video share with your friends if you feel like this was helpful and i will see you in my next video bye